So this is what you can expect from the 1600 XT 5950X. Just gets to a point where it's just like, Jesus Christ. How much do you need? Today, we're going to be delivering the sauce, ladies and gentlemen. So today, we are going to be going over the best PC parts for gaming in general. And we're going to be using Warzone as a benchmark just because it's the best game to benchmark, I feel like, for parts. So that's going to be great. The three parts we're going to be going over is one, your CPU. What's the best CPUs out there? Two, the GPUs. What are the best GPUs out there? Graphics cards. And three, the memory, just to see what's the best memory out there. And my name's Cornel. I work with a lot of the professional Call of Duty players and professional content creators. And we'll make sure to get your system right and make sure that you make the best purchases possible by the end of this video today hey guys please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe here if you want to see more content like this and let me know guys what kind of fps do you get and what kind of pc do you have let's see what we get in the comments and compare to each other just to see if we're getting the fps we should be getting here and if you wanted to boost your fps decrease your internet latency or just enhance your stream in general definitely visit sensequality.com and we got you taken care of just like the professional call of duty players there so definitely check them out uh with the link in the description all right so today we're gonna start with actually the graphics cards because this is the most interesting one to me because you know like i've been on the 3090 the past year and i just got a 1600 xt just wanted to see how it was uh to switch to the amd game and guys it's absolutely insane so let me show you the benchmarks of the 1600 xt in 1080p and 1440p versus the 3090 and you can use these numbers and just downscale it to which one whichever one you have because they're fairly similar uh from my experience so the 6700 xt versus the 3070 the 6800 xt versus the 3080 the 6900 xt versus the 3090 all of them will be fairly the same in terms like fps comparisons so let's check out these numbers here all right, so let's get started. So the 1600 XT versus the 3090 in 1080p. You'll notice that in a 1080p format, not really GPU intensive, it's gonna be like around a 20 to 30 FPS difference. Uh, the 6900 XT, you're gonna notice a trend where it takes off in less intensive areas too. So like the difference is around 20 to 30 in really intensive areas, but as soon as you see this, look, non-intensive, it just boosts up and just takes off completely. Now this is 1440p and the 6900 XT actually has a higher, um, yeah a way higher uh advantage here with 40 fps 30 fps here so this was actually surprising to me because i thought the 3090 was going to be a little bit closer when it comes to 1440p but the 6900 xt just gets better and better we just saw a 50 fps difference right there down in capital and now this is where like 80 percent of the map is that's why i benchmarked this but you'll see in non-intensive areas like this 1600 xt absolutely dominates it's just absolutely insane uh in vanguard or like warzone like if you're not like 80 percent of the maps non-intensive so definitely the 1600 xt just takes off and wins in this category every single time and for pricing too the 1600 xt is cheaper it's actually like 500 cheaper to 700 so if you wanted one you can actually get one way cheaper as well now that we saw the actual benchmarks, the 6900 XT absolutely takes over and dominates the game. It is better in the 0.1%, the 0.01%. It is better for average FPS. It is a better GPU in general, and it's cheaper? I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, AMD or Radeon definitely won this one uh, in terms of Warzone. It might change depending on the resolution of different games. So let's say in 1080p, 1080p, 1600 XT wins every time. 1440p, 1600 XT wins every single time. 4K, that's where it gets really close and the 3090 might take over there. So depending on your resolution is what I would buy. And also just note that the 6900 XT is not really that good for a single PC stream setup. So if you are a streamer and you're a content creator, I will not recommend the 6900 XT if you wanna stream or record on your single PC setup. Get the 3090 or an Nvidia card, 
please do not make that mistake but yeah guys so let's move on to the ram so a lot of people actually overlook ram but it's actually one of the most important parts of your system so ram can like 99 percent of the people i'm telling you guys have really bad ram and i'm going to show you guys the best ram to get uh for your pc because guys games don't only focus on the gpus anymore games use every single resource on your system possible and you want to make sure every single resource is fast that way you can get more fps better faster parts equal higher fps it's simple as that so basically for the ram let me show you guys so for the best ram i would say the best ram out right now as we speak is ddr4 bdi ram so if you see 14 14 14 that is most likely bdi if you see 14 15 15 that is most likely bdi as well if you see 14 16 16 that is not bdi guys you want to make sure you follow this guy right here and you'll get the best ram possible and the max fps possible so if you get these examples right here your pc should boost your fps should boost significantly now with ddr5 it gets a little tricky there because ddr5 just came out it's not going to be as fast guys just because it just came out um and it's going to be really high in latency the timings are really really loose in ddr5 and that's really important for fps i'm going to show you guys a quick clip here of ddr4 versus ddr5 all right so this is ddr4 basically versus ddr5 uh and you'll see that it's around a 20 to 30 fps difference both the ddr4 and ddr5 is tuned by sense quality um so these are basically maxed out and the ddr5 is a little bit slow because it's 5200 megahertz cl38 um and the ddr4 is basically 3733 uh cl14 so the ddr4 definitely wins in terms of like intensive areas when it gets to non-intensive areas it really doesn't matter both of them just basically takes off to 300 fps when tuned uh but yeah in intensive areas ddr4 definitely wins all right so that was the 5200 megahertz uh cl38 kit versus a 4400 megahertz cl17 kit both tuned and maybe if we got a better kit it would have made a slight difference but i don't think it would have still keep up with the ddr4 there so the ddr4 is still way better in general until they release some really crazy ddr5 uh but for the time being ddr4 wins now let's get to the cpu so this is going to be the amd 5950x versus the 12900k these bad boys are quick so we're going to be looking at the price we're going to be looking at the cores and we're going to be looking at what's the winner out the box so if you don't want to tune in or anything you just want to out the box max fps possible we're going to look at the winner there and we're going to be looking at the winner tuned as well so the first the price the price of the 5950x is pretty high uh to be honest i think it's worth it for creators uh, as it's a hundred dollars more for more cores so you're gonna see what i mean when we get to the cores here the 2900k 618 dollars that's fair to be honest um and the 12900 kf this is the steal right here 589 dollars guys that's actually a steal the kf just means it doesn't come with an integrated the integrated graphics chip is disabled on it so it's a little cheaper so you get everything else but the integrated graphics chip which you probably aren't gonna use anyway so if we look at the cores the 5950x has 16 cores 32 threads the thread part guys is the most important part because that lets you know what kind of cores they are the 12900k is a 16 core 24 thread core count so basically it has eight performance cores and eight e cores and i'm gonna be honest i'm not really sure what the e cores are there for <laughs> when we tested it uh but it just has that uh, so that it's pretty fast and it's pretty good so when it comes to the cores the 5950x wins when it comes to the price the 2900k wins and now when we get to the stock fps if you just took it out the box you just slammed it into a pc right there and you're like yo Cornel, what's gonna get me the maximum fps possible out the box i don't have to do anything to the bios or anything like that well the 12900k and the kf will absolutely destroy the 5950x out the box and it's not even close it's just going to give you the max fps out of the box if you want something that can just go get the 12900k and that is the stock fps winner right there now for tuned 
tuned is a little bit different here because the 5950 x turns up when it's tuned um so when tuned both of them i would say are equal so basically you could get either one and they'll get around the same fps here and with the 2900k you got to be careful so like if you're getting a 2900k build you or uh intel build in general you want to go for the max fps possible and right now we're just talking right now it's going to be the 1200k with the ddr4 uh and that's going to give you the max fps possible if you get 1200k on a ddr5 you better have a really good ram sticks or it's just not going to give you like that kind of fps uh, it's still going to be pretty good, but it's just not going to be as good as a DDR4. So a lot of you are probably asking what's going to be the best PC build possible for the maximum FPS. I'm going to tell you guys right now. So it's going to be the 1200K uh, with DDR4 beat eye RAM, and that's going to give you really good FPS. And if you are uh, not, you're not streaming or anything on this system, it's going to be a 6900 XT with that. Now, if you are streaming and you're recording and you're doing content creation please guys go nvidia do not go amd but if you're just gaming and you just want the max fps possible this is probably the best build that you can probably get right now even out the box so i definitely recommend this guys and i really hope this video helped with clearing everything up and if you want to get more even more fps like let's say check out my other videos and it definitely has fps boost there so thank you guys please leave a like and subscribe and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day